Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. I uh, found an interesting article here, uh, seven penny stocks close to busting through the $5 mark. And as you follow my channel, I've uh, covered quite a few uh, penny stocks here within the last couple weeks uh, to a month. Uh, they've been kind of fun. Um, some of them been worthwhile and um, haven't really had any major losers yet. Um, uh, I've covered uh, TSNPD, well that one's a reverse merger so I don't really consider that a penny stock anymore. Uh, I've covered um, HCMC, uh, AITX, ORZC quite a few times, um, quite a few other uh, penny stocks. Uh, like I said they've been kind of fun so... Um, I also did another video a while back here on uh, February 23rd at uh, 10 penny stocks uh, that you can have for less than a dime. So, uh, But this is uh, 7 penny stocks uh, close to uh, busting through the $5 mark. I was going to make an Organigram uh, video and come across this and I uh, thought this would be a good one to uh, make a video about as well since a lot of people are into uh, penny stocks. So. Uh, the stock market continues to push through new highs as its early pandemic uh, soon coming up with its one year anniversary. Uh, with the renewed optimism in the market, investors are left wondering if there are any penny stocks to scoop up. And I got a couple good ones here on the list. The uh, list is um, Live X. Live Media, LIVX, Limelight Networks, Nokia, I have uh, Nokia, Organigram, I have Organigram, Opco Health, Waiter Holdings, Bio Delivery Sciences. If you have any of these, go ahead and uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment and what your cost basis is and uh, how many shares you'd be, have that would be interesting. And if you haven't hit that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. That would really help out the channel. And again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. I'm just uh, bringing some stocks your way to uh, all compare notes on and uh, make some money uh, together. So uh, the uh, first on the list is LIVX. Uh, shares of streaming content platform LiveX Live. Media are up over 48% in the past six months. It offers a platform to live streaming and on-demand digital video and audio. Its platform resembles other commodity audio streamers such as uh, Spotify. I'm sure you've all heard of Spotify and Apple Music. You're probably watching this on an Apple uh, device. Uh, but the stock is moving in the right direction after a torrid few years marred by fruitless accurate acquisitions and again it just kind of talks about uh, recently announced that his platform had topped 1 million paid subscribers uh, so it might be worth one to uh, look at also sought financial advice from investment bank firm uh, JP Morgan to review potential strategic transactions And uh, next on the list, uh, Limelight Networks, LLNW. I have heard of this one, I just haven't looked into it yet. Is a business poised to grow over the long term? This is mainly because CDNs provide the computing infrastructure needed to flawlessly uh, digital experiences in line with modern day users' demands. However, it has had trouble commanding higher prices due to its reliance on a few large customers. It faces stiff competition from fast-growing players such as Cloudflare. However, there is a lot of upside in the stock due to the uniqueness of its product offering. And feel free to pause and read the rest there for yourself. I'm sure you've all heard of uh, Nokia, one-time mobile phone giant. Nokia has evolved into one of the world's largest telecommunication infrastructure companies. 
It sold its mobile phone unit to Microsoft back in uh, 2014. And as you follow my channel, uh, this was one of the uh, GameStop uh, stocks along with uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, Blackberry, um, Cos. There was about 10 or 13 of them. Uh, Nokia was one in there. I um, oh, maybe have 20 or 30 shares of uh, Nokia. I've just been keeping it for a, a 5G play. Um, I've traded it in the past, uh, but it's kind of stayed under $5 for uh, quite a while, so I've kind of stayed away from it for a while, but... Uh, one of my new MJ plays plays is OGI Organigram as a Canadian MJ producer. Uh, had a stellar 2019 posting triple digit growth in the revenues. Uh, then uh, the Ronisaurus Rex uh, came on the scene with a debilitating impact on its top and bottom line. However, in the past couple of quarters, it is showing signs of recovery. Uh, belt tightening efforts have helped fortify the balance sheet impressively. And feel free to uh, pause and read the rest there for yourself. The uh, next is Opco Health OPK. Uh, that sounds like OPP, um, naughty by nature, <laughs> if you're listening to rap at all. So uh, sorry that just popped into my head. Um, <laughs> I have uh, ADD sometimes. Music pops into my head, but um, if you're down with OPK, no, that's not the song. Uh, <laughs> it's a pharmaceutical and diagnostics company operating in the United States and internationally. OPK stock has been on a tear this year, rising over 180%. Uh, the Ronosaurus Rex has had a lot to do with its rise and its diagnostic segment is currently the third largest laboratory testing services provider in the country. Uh, so it might be worth one to um, look at in regards to the um, CV. Um, there might be um, some, might be a good catalyst to this one and uh, might run it up. Um, uh, I always point out to uh, be careful with uh, pharmaceuticals biofarm stocks um, when they go up they go up but when they go down they go down so uh, that's what she said but anyway moving on uh, waiter holdings WTRH and again I don't give tax legal or trading advice just bringing these your way and you can do your own due diligence on these especially on the biofarms bio um, but Emerging Food Delivery Company uh, Holding had a remarkable 2020 boosted by the Ronisaurus Rex induced tailwinds. Uh, moreover, under the dynamic leadership of its new CEO and the company has streamlined expenses and become profitable, it has clawed back to the brink of bankruptcy to profitability in just six months is up a whopping 765 percent in the past 12 months so it looks like the majority of these are uh, boosted around the uh, CV is kind of interesting and feel free to uh, pause and read the rest there for yourself next is uh, bio delivery sciences BDSI is a small cap pharmaceutical company that has witnessed explosive growth in its flagship Belbuca chronic pain medication. Despite posting impressive numbers, it has continued to fly under the radar. As a result, the stock is trading at almost 48% lower than the $8 per share medium price target. Uh, so again, uh, these are all penny stocks. Um, just be careful with those and um, I've heard of some of these other opiate induced uh, constipation treatment drug and there's been a couple of these I just can't say if you uh, know what I'm talking about leave that in the comments I've heard other uh, youtubers talk about these um, uh, particular 
drugs as well. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, feel free to uh, pause and read the rest there for yourself. And that is the uh, end, actually the uh, end of the article. But um, just wanted to uh, point those out. Uh, like I said, if you have any of these, uh, go ahead and link those in the uh, comments. Um, I don't know. I have Nokia. I have Organogram. Um, I would have to look at these a little bit f more in depth to uh, see if I wanted to uh, purchase any of these. Um, they sound kind of interesting. The uh, Lime Light Networks would probably be my first choice, but um, I would have to look into them a little bit deeper. But just wanted to bring those to your attention. Again, those are the seven penny stocks close to busting through the five dollar mark. And if you could go ahead and bust that uh, like button as well as subscribe if you haven't, and that would really help out the uh, channel as well. I thank you for all the. Um, Support on the channel, comments are always welcome, and especially hitting that like button and subscribing is always welcome. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers here as soon as possible. So, again, this is Jay Money, following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.